The Gage County Board has voted to formally support a reduction in traffic speed near Tri-County Public Schools south of DeWitt and help commit funding to install speed control lighting on Nebraska Highway 103. The supervisors voted to send a letter of support to the Nebraska Department of Transportation and commit up to $15,000 toward the project, initially estimated to cost a total of about $60,000. Tri-County School Superintendent Randy Schleter has spoken to state and county officials about a plan aimed at reducing traffic speed near the school. We looked at five different ways in which we could uh, uh, make the highway safer and it was decided that during um, an hour before we start school and an hour after the start of school and the same at the end of the day, an hour before the end, an hour afterward, it'll be a flashing light lowering the speed limit from 65 to 45 during that time. Schleter says there have been some close calls along Nebraska Highway 103 in his nine years with Tri-County. Last spring, it was not, there was not an injury accident, but there was an accident where somebody was going too fast and didn't realize somebody had slowed down. So we have had accidents here in the past. Um, I, I've approached the state in the past and we've had conversations about it, but I think at this point when we had the accident which resulted in the two fatalities, it, it, the decision was made that uh, we have to do something to try and slow traffic down around here. In late June this year, two people died following an accident at the intersection of 725 Road and Highway 103 at the southeast corner of the school's property. The collision happened during a period of dense fog. The victims were ages 51 and 16. Most in-city schools have zones with lower traffic speeds. This would be no different, simply at a rural location. And we sit out in the country, so there you have traffic on Highway 103 traveling usually at the speed limit. Sometimes there are probably people who are going a little bit faster. And especially if you're coming from the north, you come up over a rise. And if you don't know the school's there, it's on you quickly. The state of Nebraska has committed to pay half the cost of the project, leaving the rest to be picked up by county governments and the school district. If all goes well, the system would be installed next spring, in time for the next school year. From Beatrice, Doug Kennedy, News Channel, Nebraska.